Hi, my name is Lauren and in part two of our Acquiring New Customers series, we're going to cover how you can use email and SMS within your marketing. The new year often resembles a new start for many people. People start resolutions, they like to change things in their life and in their homes. And this is also something that many businesses also take part in. The new year is a great opportunity to start releasing new products. New products means that your current customers have seen something brand new and they're gonna to want to purchase from you. And new potential customers will also see that you're selling something that they now want and you can also use that to acquire new customers. So if you saw part one, it's like you already have a sign up form to acquire new customers. This means that you can use campaigns in your email marketing to update new and previous customers on all the changes to your store, including the addition of new products. Email marketing is a great channel to encourage new purchases. As apart from your monthly fee, sending emails is free and it's an easy way to connect with your customers. Depending on your industry, you could see campaign metrics of about a 35% open rate, a 5.5% click rate and a 1.41% conversion rate. But some of you might be thinking that these metrics are not as high as you want them to be. And the truth is, is there's always going to be people within your email marketing list who do not want to engage with your content. So what can you do? Well, many merchants are now turning to SMS. SMS is a growing market and it's already really big in the US and it's surely making its way across to the UK. With a 99.9% .9 open rate, it's kind of hard to not see why. SMS Bump have been there and seen the gap between email subscribers wanting to receive marketing, but not necessarily wanting to engage with an email. And it's easy to see why, especially with the Black Friday period that's just gone by, many people probably received a lot of emails to their inbox and they simply just do not want to go through them and engage with them. This is why SMS Bump has created a shareable subscribe link. The shareable subscribe link is part of SMS Bump's Collect Subscriber Tools. It allows you to create a link where you can select your destination list and you can select what you want it to be called. And simply as saying create a link, you now have a link that you can place anywhere on your website, in your social media, in your email marketing that then allows people to subscribe to, to your SMS. So if I just copy over across our link here, this is the page that you will be greeted with. Now this can be completely tailored to what you want it to be when you find the page on your Shopify store, but it will automatically take on the design of your current Shopify store. A great strategy you could implement is creating a segment of your unengaged email subscribers, so people who haven't been opening your emails, and send them a final email that includes an SMS subscribe link. So you can just pop that link and put it into a button and put that in your email. With this link, you could offer a certain incentive to get someone to subscribe. So for example, you could give them early access to a new product if they sign up to SMS marketing. We've seen some great results with SMS and we've been able to return a 5,000% return on investment for one of our clients. And you can read that case study at lendcommerce.com. Along with their growth tools, SMS Bump has also focused on creating specialist flows with Lawtoline. A Lawtoline program can also be a great way to acquire new customers as well as keep your current customers loyal. Make sure you check out part three to get our insights on how Lawtoline can help you. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and make sure you check out the Blend website, blendcommerce.com to find out even more information.